Hello everyone, this is Black Op here, also known as Opster Gaming, and today I will be discussing the best free to play hero in Clash of Lords 2. Now, in another video, either after or before this, I will have talked about the best hero in the game being Rene Van. Argumentative, a lot of people like. But most people are probably going to pursue the game's Morpho, Chrono Keeper, Chaos Ember, because they're all the most powerful ones. But I'm not going to go into too much into the video. There's a reason why we picked Renny Van. And the player in it is one one, also known as Sexy Ray, who leads Super Evolution, so he knows his stuff. So before anyone wants to argue that, Make sure to watch the video when if it comes out or if it has already come out, make sure to go watch it and see what the opinions were. Now, last time I made a video on my account, I only use this account for YouTube videos now, I don't even play the game really that much. I don't even that much, I just use it for YouTube. But I was very only logged on like a week or so ago, like two weeks ago maybe, and I've already got a return in just seriously. First time ever I've got it on my main account. By main account I mean I've only got one Clash of Steel and then my second account I'd count as my Clash of Laws 1 account. Really. But in this video I'm not going to say Renny Van. Obviously it would be Renny Van is the best free to play hero. So if you want to think of a that way you can put the actual one which I'm talking about here as the second best free to play hero. And, but I don't want to make a free to play video on the exact same hero, so basically this hero comes in second place but take Renny Van out of the equation it's the best one still second place there's not really too much an argument with that but Renny Van by skill this video is going to be more by more by usage version game modes reversibility versatility I don't know I can't say the word Alright, that's um, what you call 1am um, almost. Um, so, the actual hero in which I'm going to get into in this video will be in your entire in a minute. It's not any of these, and Jamus could argue to be up there, but it's not. He's going to be Pan Vesselia. It's an obvious one. I think you guys will have all expected Vesselia. Vesselia to be a war. Look at HP in that, man. The HP is actually But um, it's obvious, Penvazilia. Why? Hero Arena. It's at the basics of all games. You look at the basics, you go, okay, what do I do straight away? Go. Make sure that you level up one hero really well. As if that you're able to grind a certain game mode campaign in this game, Hero Arena. And. So if you get a really good Penvazilia, all your hero, other heroes are rubbish, yeah? You're still going to struggle in other game modes. If other games are those, you will still struggle in. But if you manage to max out your Penvazilia, or at least get it to good enough to be able to take out the hero arena like I am here, then you will be able to complete hero arena every single season, which are every two weeks. And by doing that, you will enable yourself to be able to get all the rewards every two weeks. That will therefore, long term, help you to get enough resources to be able to upgrade your other heroes much easily, much more easy, much easier. God, guys, I am tired, you know. I don't even feel tired, I think I just, I don't know. I've been playing games all day, if I'm honest with you. I've just been playing games for like the past 12 hours. The only time that I wasn't playing games probably whenever I went out for a walk for about half an hour to get some fresh air, which you probably needed considering I've been playing games all day. But yeah, that's um, one thing for you um, gamers who play pretty much all day. Do make sure to take half an hour your day, go for a walk or something, some fresh air. You know what, you actually end up playing better as well because you've got a fresh mind and everything, yeah. Also, Victor. So yeah, 
Penthesilia number one. Obviously, Herovina, that's what I just said. So, I count Herovina as actually very important. If you can manage to complete Herovina, then you're literally going to get lots of rewards, like I said. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I want to repeat myself so that I get the point actually across. You see all these resources, all very useful, especially the ancient spirits and rings and everything. It's all very really useful jewels. And all of them will be able to help you with leveling up your other heroes and lightning and so on. So that's why it's very important. Another thing about Pem Studios is you will be able to easily kill the ancient relic just like the hero arena. In the exact same way. Is that the that same way? Ancient relic isn't that valuable. It does not really give you that much. But if you have not leveled up your talents yet, then it will be useful. As you can use your hero trial token. Not, no, not hero trial, sorry. Different game mode. Um, Jean Crystal? No, it's not Jean Crystal. What is it called? Mystic Orbs? Is it? I'm not sure, really, no. Is it called the Mystic Orbs? I don't know. Mystic crystals, oh that's close on it. Well that's quite close actually. And these can be used but to go to your spell learning and you can improve these. Number one I lied in so I may even make a video on that, you know, a short one. And why is the most important one, but very important actually. You wouldn't think it's that important but it generally really can be actually quite important. So that is two big reasons why you want to get your pencil you probably maxed out first. By max out, I mean like level 5 divine if you can. It's very hard. I don't even have level 5 divine yet. I'm almost at it. So, as you check, I think level 22 will be divine, yeah. So, I'm actually really close. Actually, so, so close. It almost makes me really want to uh, figure out a way of quickly maxing them out. Might even return the class was too soon just to get that max. Is that, is that you know? Yes, man, I've only got one more enchant crystal needed. There's another enchant crystal, ancient spirit. Oh, one more. That's a killer. That's a true killer, you know. Yeah, man, let's really be zoning and everything and see what we can do. Let's be really seeing what I can do. I wish I signed into it. Actually, not that long ago. Yeah, these daily zonings, if you don't double very useful it's a very good thing that they've implemented actually that is one of the better things in my opinion that class rules to igg have done recently is only really is actually adding that is that it's going to make a big difference to activity in the game and helping players to progress go and take that mm. Mm. Then let's get this one then have we got more people no, but 18 of my friends got a town hall level 7. So thank you to all 18 people who have um, helped me by entering my promo code when I've started the game. Um, helps me a lot, gives me lots of jewels as you can see, stuff like that. And um, I would say it helps you, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But thank you to everyone who has um, entered it as it does help me progress in the game and therefore allowing me to make these better videos because without stuff like that I would take a lot longer to be able to get my pencils really better therefore meaning that I wouldn't be able to do stuff like kill here every and I probably would be able to but let's just use it as an example shall we. Yes, um, this is really, I'm not going to get any of this bit, am I? Ah, painful. I really want an ancient spirit, man. Hmm. How can I easily get an ancient spirit, guys? Where can I easily get one from? Hmm. Log in for the next seven days, that might help. <laughs> Too much gold, I need to spend it. Three buildings I need to upgrade. Have any mates with finish? Yes, yeah. I've got the experts and reapers. So used to playing Galadriel. I've actually quit it now. 
Um, wasn't really enjoying the game that much, thanks to the recent update, which I really um, just didn't have the game whatsoever. It actually made it worse, in my opinion. I'm sure you've heard my opinions a million times, probably one million times in my scheduled videos in the future as well. Yes, um, yeah, I'm just gonna build that for now. I'm gonna get it going, and then we'll continue building. I see Connor's up there, 6,300 trophies, wow, that's a lot, doing really well sir, well done Connor. Um, Demi, 6,003, also doing very well, so it's third place, wow, they really have well. And people, oh wow, that has increased a lot of the trophies, really has actually increased a lot. Just dropped me down actually, I was nearly top 1,000. So yeah, I see people have increased a lot in trophies actually. Um, as I'm sure you guys know, I'd love to see a global server. If you want to hear more about my opinions on a global server, um, please check out my global server video, which I brought out a month or so ago now. I think it's a couple of months ago, probably September, September, August. I don't know, I'm not sure. Date of this recording is November the seventh. Video will probably release. Um, I can't quite say. I'll have to check it out and see when I'm going to release it. I like to schedule my videos in um, in advance now so that I can make sure that they're made properly and they're worth watching. Hmm. Perfection. Resilient. When will I be able to add another skill to that one? Cannot. Well, I think that's like, pretty much it for the video, then, guys, really. Um, I've talked about what Pims is really good with. It's great in other game modes as well. Guild Boss, Battle Royale, Base Siege, Hero Trials, all the lot of it. And just a very good hero overall. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Best weapon for Pemphysilia is Hammer because it can bring the back of the Divine two times if you get it empowered. Which is very good. So make sure to like, subscribe and definitely hit the bell icon for more Clash Wars 2 content. For now, peace out. <laughs>